Now I know what I want for my birthday. I want to meet your boyfriends. Please. You know what? Please. This no, I have got out of your potential ways. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's the meaning of this? Huh? In the presence of my guests? Now, from now onwards, I want you to know that I want you Daddy? I want you to know Daddy! Daddy! Daddy, are you okay? Oh, oh, my God. Daddy! Your father is stable. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for an answered prayer. But your father is very sick. Sick? But I thought God. Excuse me. Can you let him finish his sentences before you start claiming your miracles? Your father suffered hemorrhagic stroke. A stroke? What caused it? We found several aneurysms, the size as big as a standard grape, in his brain. You found what? There are swellings outside the blood vessels wall in the brain and it's very dangerous. A ruptured aneurysm can cause immediate death. There has to be a mistake. Our father has never been sick. I understand that. But these things are usually detected through regular checkups. But it seems your father has never been to one. In several years. Is there a reason for this? Yes. My mother found out on a routine checkup that she had a lump in her breast. She died a few months later. It was my father's idea that she does the checkup. <laughs> he thinks she could have lived longer had she not done it. Look. I completely understand your father's position. But not checking is never the answer. Most illnesses that eventually kill are usually detected through these regular checkups. I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? Is he going to die? I'm afraid he could if we don't operate. It's fatal. I'm sorry, sir, but 
but you're going to have to listen to your daughters on this one. They only want what's best for you. Well, I do know what is not best for me. And it's certainly those doctors who keep giving you false hope that everything is okay, when in fact, they don't. Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> mother. She should have been alive if I hadn't pushed her to. <laughs> Are you sure of this, Kweku? They won't be happy, sir. Especially if they don't finish the task before but you. But they will. You see, I may not have many days to live, but if I can witness this before I die, my soul will be glad. Very happy. Daddy, you can't be serious. I know this will come as a shock. A shock? Daddy, you are blackmailing us into marriage. This is not fair. What? We're supposed to marry the first man that comes along? And what if he doesn't want to marry me? You see, I know both of you are upset. But it's for your own good. That you risk your life so that I can get married? That you play God with your life? You see, I love both of you so much. I have always believed in you. I believed in your abilities and allowed you to pursue your individual dreams. But the most important thing that a father needs for his two beautiful daughters is that they will be happy. Trust me, there is no greater joy than family. And it is exactly what I wish for you before I risk it all. And that's for both of you. Marriage, together, happy. But Daddy, this is marriage. Like, how do you even know when the person is genuine? Oh, leave that for me to judge. Trust me, a father always knows. Huh? Now, how about we start it with your present friends? They seem very nice. Huh? When can I meet them for a chat? Now, listen, this could be over before you know it. How is this going to help bring them together, sir? The way I see it, they're going to try and outdo each other. Oh, no. The deal is, both of them have to get married before I can accept to do it. And trust me, they will find their way to each other. Come on, hold my hands. Let's go for a walk. I don't think that's such a good idea. The girls made me promise to make sure you get your rest. Oh, come on, George. I'm not dead yet. Remember, I'm still the head of this house. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, I missed you dearly. Are you okay? Yeah. I came quickly because you said um, your parents were home. I was hoping to meet them. Um, yeah. So... I, I think we need to talk, Sandra. Me too. I, I want us to talk. Can we go in? Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. I like that. Nice. Welcome to my abode. Very impressive. So you say you own this? Yeah. I just bought it actually. Your boy 
has been working his ass off. <laughs> I like that. So what's so urgent? What's going on, John? You won't let me see your parents? I can't. Why not? What did I do? Look, it's not what you did, okay? It's, it's what you are. You are you are too rich. So? Plus, it's not mine. Uh, yes, but it will be. And I can't be all the man I want to be. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. What are you saying? <laughs> I can't be with you, Sandra. You are too rich. You are dumping me because of my father's wealth. Well, the Bible says man shall not live by. Oh, shut up, John. Stop quoting the Bible to cover up your weaknesses. What has my father's wealth got to do with your bread? I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to be everything you want me to be and more. And I'm going to impress your father. I promise. My father's a very wise man. You be careful. Oh, come on. I've dealt with many men like that in my business. So have no fear. Okay. So, let's go over a few details. Okay. Wow, that's nice and expensive. Oh, the watch. Yeah, I bought it as a birthday present to me. But that's my father's watch. <laughs> what? No, no I... I bought it. That's the watch my mom bought him for the anniversary a few weeks before she passed. And I know this because she custom made the strap from a rare leather handbag her mother gave to her. <laughs> you stole it when you came to the house. Look, I can explain. Take it off. Take it off! Okay, okay, relax! I just bought it for two days. I was going to return it when I got invited back for dinner. Well, you can forget dinner, you can forget me. Wait, what about the marriage? Marry your thief and self. I feel the girls they don't want share. Hello, your sister just... Oh dear. Oh, okay. I found someone. What about Jeffrey Ponson? Are you kidding? Oh my god. That guy has a mouth holder stronger than that of Kole Lagoon. Please. He will poison my father before his surgery. Are <laughs> you serious? Okay, how about Abu Ajina? He's cool. I think he is cool. dull. He's like a delayed phone conversation. Sometimes I can't even keep up with which question he's answering. At what time? Because I would have moved on like a day ahead. 
please. To stress my father into a heart attack. Oh, I'm just reading on IG that Felix has just divorced. Not like his voice. More like his Sith. Okay, how about Jake? Oh, God. He's too lazy. The guy can't even keep a job. But then, then, so what? Like, what does it matter? It's just until your father gets his surgery done, then you can divorce whoever. You don't understand. He will see through it all. He will drill them till they break. And this will just prolong this nightmare even further. Whilst my sister will just waltz in with her church boy and become the favorite child. I just, I need a decent, smart, result-oriented... Oh, yes, come in. Hi, Raymond. Your meeting with the investors is in an hour. Would you like me to reschedule? Yeah, please, can you do that? Because I'm really not in a good mood. Sure, okay. So, how about this? I'll tell them that um, you're delayed in your first investment meeting, so I'm calling to reschedule. That should heighten their anticipation to want to meet with you and hopefully give you what you want. That's very good. Thank you. Sure. Carol. So? Anybody? What? My earlier description. Anybody you know that will fit in? Oh. Yeah, um, I'm on it, babe. I'm on it. How about Sami? Prayer warrior Sami. Oh, isn't he a bit too... What's the word? Prayerful? <laughs> and is that a bad thing? He could actually pray your father back to health. The man is a firestorm. Mm. Okay. But then I think I need to change his clothes. You know he likes those loud, blinding colors. My dad likes subtle and confidence. Well, confident he is. Shall I set up a meeting? Yeah. Oh, Jane. I don't want my desperation to show. You know, after John, I understand. We'll stick to the plan. It was revealed to you in a dream, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. Oh, God, help me. Madam. He's here. Thank you. Apologize. I don't want to hear your apologies. You do as I say. This is not about love or any of that shit. I need your help. Sure, I'll, I'll do anything to help. Beautiful. Thank God you. has really blessed you. Yes, he has. Um, I hope you remember everything we discussed. Yeah. Perfect. Um, please have a seat. Let me grab my father. Okay. If we say that we are not with sin, then we are deceiving ourselves. And that the truth is not in us. Me kidi kala ma ke kidis. Oh yes, speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. Ah yes, speak to me, speak to me. Mm. Mm. It has just been revealed to me that your father's wealth was ill-gotten. 
that he has done a lot of things to get this far but the God we serve is a loving God uh, for he is willing and just to forgive us our sins uh, but he has to confess excuse me what are you talking about mm. my father has worked hard all his life in Psalm chapter 32 verse 3 he said that when I kept silent about my sin. My body wasted away through my groaning all day long. Yes, uh, come on, uh, I, I am. Uh, you don't have to hide behind your father's evil. Huh? Are you also aware that the Bible says, Beware of false prophets? See, I am only the one who was revealed to me. Uh, come on, see, I need to deliver him, okay? See, the. Get up from here! Wait, 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 see. Ah, I see, I see, I see horses, I see pigs. Ah, I need to deliver you. Ah, make it. Ah, Oh, so you are Bill. What do you do? I am um, <clears throat> I'm into construction. I build beautiful houses such as yours and offices. Oh, impressive. Which means you studied architecture. Yes, yeah, yes, that's true. Oh, fine. Tech? Hmm? Did you attend Kwame Nkrumah University? I mean, what year? Uh, I have friends whose children also attended the school. Uh, you may know them or they may know you. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just saying this because uh, uh, it will be good for us to reunite some of you people and uh, help you with some investments, you know, as far as the work is concerned. Daddy, Bill did not school here. He studied abroad. That even makes it better. You see, I have a friend whose uh, son uh, needs to get an admission into one of the schools abroad. And I think you can help. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, that's good news. Hello, Cobra. Oh, yes, yes. Um, Cobra, I have actually found an answer to what you are looking for. Yeah, I'm talking about your, your son's... Uh, uh, school abroad, registering him in one of the schools abroad. Yeah, I have someone here who can help actually. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, I studied cooking. What? Cooking. You studied cooking? Oh, I see. Uh, Cobra? Yeah, 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 you, yeah, uh, well. There is an issue here, so I'll call you back, all right? Yeah. Yes, come in. For your husband. So I thought I would come by show you my son. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Here you are. See. Very smart, very rich, and handsome. Yeah. I know, I know he's challenged on the high side, but. You know, not everyone has it all. Hmm? <laughs> Can't you find me a normal-looking guy? 
What? Uh, what? You're staring. Don't you know anybody? Um, I'm just... Oh, angry. God. Raymond, sometimes you can look so lost. Just find me somebody. He has a master's degree in sociology, uh, owns his own gym and runs the marathon. Well, he doesn't sound so bad. He doesn't look bad too. Plus, things can get pretty interesting in the bedroom. Asking that is it because of my size? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I just want to make sure my guest is uh, happy. You know, as I said, I am here because of Sunny. Sandra, I can see you don't talk much, do you? Because I prefer to use my fist. And you know, I prefer my girls being slim, and uh, I think Sally needs to lose some weight. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and that can only happen if you grow some brains. I won't tolerate this anymore. What? What did you just say? I have more than you have. I don't need anything from you. I don't need anything from you. You, you, you are fat daughter either. Who is fat? Who, who, what do you take me for? Oh, oh. I have more than you, you have. Touch my father. Have you rested? Tea, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I know what you're going to say, George. <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to gather my thoughts, sir. It's been a disaster. No beating about the bush on that. George. Yes, sir. When did finding the right partner to marry become this complicated? Ever since the world decided any two people can meet anywhere and fall in love, sir. Respectfully, I think you ought to call it all off and do the surgery. Nobody said it was going to be that easy. And sometimes, Judge, Failure is nothing more than uh, a chance to revise your strategy. That's the way I see it. You are a stubborn man, sir. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> and that midget, that midget almost beat me up. <laughs> 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 May I come in? I know all of this is taking such a terrible toll on you, but even more so on him. So talk to him. Tell him to stop this right now. You and I both know he won't. So then what? We just continue with the charade? Maybe not. Hello, I'm Raymond, uh, Belinda Caesar's PA. Oh, hi Raymond, I'm Sandra, Belinda's sister. I know, I've heard a lot about you. Really? Yes, uh, sorry, no, I, I'm really excited to meet you. And it's just that I haven't met anybody from Belinda's family yet. She'll see you now. 
All right, it's nice to know that she's got you working with her. Oh, working for her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this way, please. Thank you. So, do you have any ideas? None. I have run out of ideas. And of men, apparently. The last one nearly beat up daddy. <laughs> so did mine. <laughs> Crazy man with abs the size of yams. He actually wanted to punch daddy. Well, mine was opposite. He was a midget. So my son took a With pride the size of Mount Everest. A <laughs> son Yes. Yes. Hi. Um, I was wondering if I should get some lunch for you and your sister. I'm um, sure. Some grilled fish for me. What about you, Sandy? What? Just that, you know, you haven't called me Sandy in years. <laughs> I have what she's having. Great. Coming up. Maybe we can go to him together and tell him. Why not him? Sorry? Your PA. He's smitten with you. What? Raymond? No. Is it that you think he's not good enough for you? Or you just haven't looked his way? Because Belinda, he is hot. And I don't use those words. Wait, oh. So this guy has been here all along? Wow. Hey, Belinda. When you're Baba. Hmm. Sister Sandra, do you have a moment? Just come in, Pastor Sitch. Okay, okay, great. Ow. Some information came to my attention. And um, I said I'll have to come and help. Because I'm here to offer my help. <laughs> I hear you were looking for a husband. Oh, no, no, there's nothing to be shy about. The Bible says those who seek the Lord shall lack nothing. And I know that over the years, you have dedicated your faith unto the Lord. And that's why I am here to help. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Great. <laughs> but honestly, I've decided to just take my time. And my father will just have to live with my decision. I, anyway, then it wouldn't be out of place if I introduced to you my nephew. He's very handsome, smart, and successful. There's just one thing, he, he's not like us. Like us? Oh, that he's not all singing and praying like we are. You mean he's not born again? Um, he comes to church though. I mean, he participates in events when it comes on. He contributes. Oh, Pastor Sechi, you and I know how hard it is with those that are. How much more with those who aren't? Anyway, I, I, thought, I thought he could make some impression. I'm, I'm sorry then. <laughs> Very sorry. So am I. Yeah. But, Pastor Sechi, thanks for your help. My pleasure. Miss Isa. <clears throat> yes? Um, do you need me? Mm-hmm. I mean, do you need anything else? I wanted to go pick my dry cleaning from the laundry before they shut. Uh, uh, but I don't mind sticking around for a while, if you don't mind. I, I could do that tomorrow, tomorrow next, the day after. Miss Caesar. I was asking if you need anything else. Okay then, um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.
Hey stranger, my invitation for drinks is still on offer. You should give me a try. So, leave a message. I shall get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, Miss Caesar? What are you doing here? I've been trying to call you. Where is your phone? My work phone? I leave it at the office. You asked me to, just in case you needed to use it too. Oh. But you have a personal phone? <sighs> yes, I do, but it's for friends and... Are you busy? Alone? Yes. I was supposed to step out, but I decided against it. Um, I'm sorry, did I forget something? Do you need me to do something for you? Because I, I think I did everything at the office. Um, is this a... Isn't this futile? First of all, are you for real? <laughs> I'd love to play games with you, but that's not my style. And yes, Sandra, I am flesh and blood. And how do you know my name? Pastor Sechi is my uncle. He told me about you, sent me pictures of you, and was talking about how we were suited for each other. But today he comes and says, you refuse to see me because I'm not one of you? Martin Sechi. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Oh, I just might try. <laughs> you never know what God has in store for any of us. What? What's that look? I don't know. But you keep mentioning God and the Bible, yet you say you're not one of us. I never said I'm not one of you. You said I'm not one of you. I didn't say that. Well, my uncle seems to think so. Just because I don't sing as loud or pray as often or quote the longest... for as long as
I shan't leave your side. <clears throat> I shall do everything you asked. Why are we here? Because it's the holiest place of all the places you and I reside. And we need to make a declaration from our hearts so we can move forward. <laughs> I miss you. Comfortable. I'll be back. Sure. Just everybody. Hello? Yes? What? What? Sandra, what is it? What? Sandra, what? Your father was loved. His funeral said as much. 
If only I said something the day before. You failed him. No, you didn't. What's that? That's his last message to you two. He asked me to give it to you after the funeral. My dear girls, I hope by now the nosy family members have left so you can spend time with each other reflecting on what a great life you have ahead of you. I'm sorry I put such strain on you to find perhaps the impossible in such a short time. But believe me, when I tell you it wasn't for you to find husbands, it was for you to find each other. I remember the day you were born like yesterday. Delicate yet strong, beautiful yet insecure. I'm the bread of fully away. 